is April 30th, 2015. This is day 13 of my video blog. And I'm just going to fill you guys in a little bit. Um, I'm going through some emotional roller coasters lately. Um, partially, it's something that I can't control and that I'm working on. Um, just had some devastating shit handed to me. And I'm trying to work through that. So if I seem a little bit off and not my cheerful self, I apologize. Um, it will get better. It will not always be um, Debbie Downer, as I like to call it. And it will be a little bit more cheerful. The way I've been trying to work through what's going on is thinking of all the negative things that are wrong with, this, with the um, situation I was in and focus on that and go, you know what, I'm better off. So, uh, we will see what happens in the next couple days. Um, so, a little bit about what's been happening recently is I have been having crazy insomnia where I haven't been able to sleep. Um, sometimes I get four or five hours. Sometimes I get like three. Um, I end up sleeping most of the day because of it, just to make up for the hours I've lost. For example, last night I did not really fall asleep until 4.30 in the morning, and because of that, I did not wake up until 2 o'clock in the afternoon. That is part of being bipolar and your body cycles, and you end up getting insomnia, and you can't do anything about it. You can take your meds, but sometimes they don't work. What I'm going to do to counteract that is that I'm going to talk to my doctor again when I go see her next week, and I'm going to ask her if she can put me on heavier medication to help me sleep. Hopefully she understands that it's not just a stress thing, that I've been suffering for the last month and a half because of it, and it's really starting to affect my relationships as well as work, and it has um, been affecting my school. I can't let that happen. I've always been somebody who's been highly driven, and I've always been somebody who's wanting to succeed, and in order to do that, I need some help to do it. Um, the anxiety pills are kind of helping a little bit. It's going to take some time to see if they actually work fully, or whether I'm going to have to have her change them again on me. I really don't want to have her change them, because I've been doing so... Um, incredibly well on the ones I am on now. It's just now it's a higher dose and I don't know if I'm going to have problems writing. What affects me the most is when I write. Um, my hands sometimes shake if my dosage is too high and I don't want that to be an issue, especially since at some point I do plan on teaching. So that happened. Kind of didn't get much done in the house today. I planned on cleaning the entire thing. I ended up cleaning one room. I think if I just focus on doing that, it won't be that big of a deal. As long as I get one room done, I won't stress myself out. And I gotta have to keep my stress level a little bit lower lately. Otherwise, I am gonna end up doing like what I did today, is I was perfectly fine. And then one moment I was um, crying. You know, I'd be completely okay, and I'd be sitting down there talking to you, and then I would burst into tears. And that is a stress problem. So I did all that. Um, did normal stuff. Didn't do a huge amount of things. I did go to my Las Vegas 51s game today. It was a really, really good game. I thought they were going to lose in the beginning because the game was like 1-0. to zero. We played against the Reno team. And then come the fifth inning, we totally turned it around, stored a whole bunch of runs, got some home runs in there. We ended up winning the game 7-2, to two. Um, didn't even get to the full ninth inning. We All we had to do was play the top of the ninth, and we were done. So that was good. Ended up getting my Las Vegas 51 shirt. Tomorrow... What am I going on tomorrow? Tomorrow I go in for my lap band adjustment. I will try to link in the comments a YouTube video so you know exactly what that looks like. So it's, I will explain it to you, but if you see it, it's easier to understand it. 
when you get an adjustment on your lap band, they either take fluid out or they put fluid in. And so what they ended up doing is they have you lay down on a table and they uh, clean an area of your stomach. Um, they do a numbing agent and then they clean it with some, um, the orange stuff, can't remember what it's called. They clean it with that and then they take a needle and they push it in your stomach and then with the syringe on the other side, they either put in fluid or they take out. I'm having mine um, put some more in. Most people would say I'm completely okay. I feel as if I've been gaining and that scares me. So I'm going to have him adjust my band. It's going to force me to not eat as much as I've been eating. It also will make me more mindful of the bites that I've been taking because I have been eating too fast and that has been causing me to get sick. So that is tomorrow. I wish I could um, YouTube the process for you, but unfortunately there's no way to do it on my particular phone because I don't have an iPhone. I have an Android. And I don't think I'll ever get an iPhone. It's cool and everything, but iPhones, you have to upgrade like every two years. And um, some Androids you can keep for like four or five. So I'm just completely happy with that. It is late. Um, I think I can show you. I might be able to show you. It might show up. I'm not sure. Let me see if I can show you. The spot on my back where I got, there you go, where I got cupped last night. This one the spot. This is a heart chakra, in case you don't know. It has um, some meaningful numbers in it, and it kind of keeps me calm, so I'm kind of going with that. Did not take my Polaroid to the game because it was dark, but I did try one of the flashes today, and I was really impressed. So maybe I will try to do some outdoor photography as long as I buy some more bulbs and some more film. I um, hope this really... Sh <sighs> can't talk. I hope that everyone had a really good day. I know that some days aren't great for some of you guys and I am right there with you. All we can hope is that tomorrow will be better, that we learn to breathe, and that we focus on the positive and how we can make um, our lives better. Really surrounded myself with some good people lately, so that's a uh, positive. And, you know, I have my health, so I have to focus on that. Hope you guys are great, and I hope you have a great night. Sleep well, and I will talk to you tomorrow.